Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Lee Hin Wong. I'm the head of data strategy and governance from Petronas. Uh, for for the following topic, yeah, th this is the sharing topics of the, you know, uh, what Petronas has done to enforce the data governance uh, in OSDU. Yeah, the implementation of the OSDU in Petronas, yeah, uh, basically take take two tracks in parallel. Yeah, the first track is about migration of the data to ingest into the uh, different DDMS. Yeah, and the second track is uh, looking at the enforcement or the implementation of the different standards or controls, yeah, and, and, and provide the oversights and insights about the data quality, security, yeah, and, and so on. So in, in Petronas, we follow the, the Dharma DM book, yeah? Data Management Book of Knowledge. Yeah? There are 11, uh, there are 11, there are 11 knowledge areas that we are practicing. Yeah? And in each of the knowledge area, this is where the governance uh, guidelines, procedures, uh, was developed and we translate into a, a set of the code or the logical codes into the OSDU yeah and and uh, quantify into a measurable matrix yeah to indicate uh, the conformity and the compliance yeah of the data according to the business rules yeah and uh, from from the oversight and insights this is basically you know, uh, the different gaps, yeah, the gaps is being identified and translated into a, a, a so-called a plan, do, check, acts, yeah, uh, these are deeming continuous improvement cycles. So the concept of the control tower essentially is the, to develop a measurable index, yeah, across the 11 data management knowledge area yeah and and being visualized into the powerpoint to provide a unified uh, oversight about the performance of the data according to the different standards and the quality rules yeah and in addition to it is the you know the opportunity to correlate correlate the the performance of the different uh, data management knowledge area, yeah, uh, be it the, the, from the data quality to the master golden record uh, qualities, yeah, or the security or the, the, the uh, landscapes of the data and so on. So this is how the, the overall overview diagram looks like. Yeah, uh, for this pilot, there are six areas there are six areas of the focus. The first area of the focus is, is translating the standardization and consistency into a set of the business rule that we, we implement in the OSDU yeah, uh, via a rule engine provided by the service provider. Yeah. And, and the second, second scope is basically you know, provide the landscape, yeah, landscape of the data that we are ingesting in terms of science and records, yeah, uh, as per data taxonomy that have been defined within the, the upstream or the Petronas, Petronas upstream uh, standards, yeah. So the intention is basically to, to have an oversight, yeah, uh, from the end user, how much or, or what are the data that has not been submitted to the to the data management, or what are the missing area when it come to the different data groups, data types uh, that we need to pursue for the recovery. And the third scope is, is about monitoring the integration, the consumption of the data from the OSDU. Yeah, there's a uh, integration maps that uh, you know 
that we basically monitoring how the data is being integrated, what data are being uh, uh, sourcing out to support the application, and whether some of the secret or the highly confidential data are properly governed and secure. And through the WKS and WKE, yeah, uh, the OSTU is being used as the uh, centralized uh, master data management. Yeah, and, and a set of the golden record quality index have been developed yeah, to monitor the completeness and the validity of the uh, critical metadata that defined the master data. Yeah. And last but not least, yeah, data quality has been defined in six dimensions, yeah, and each of the dimensions provide the risk and confidence level of the data. Yeah. So these are the dimensions about completeness, yeah, validity, consistency, accuracy, timeliness, yeah, uh, that basically provide the oversight, yeah. Uh, what is the risk level and the confidence level when the data is being consumed. And with this six, six scope of uh, the implementation, we were making use of the Power BI yeah, as our extensibility for the visualization. Yeah, and some of the, the calculation or the aggregation of the reporting as per taxonomy is being performed within the data workflows yeah, and, and being visualized in the form of the traffic light yeah, to indicate where is the area that we need to pay attention when we come to the governance, as especially on the data quality. So the we completed the pilot implementation, yeah, together with some of our uh, partners here, Sambaja and Data Vedic. Yeah, and from this uh, pilot implementation, there are, there are some positive impact that we have seen. Yeah, including the, uh, I think this is a viable option yeah, uh, for, for us to achieve the data governance oversight, uh, you know, uh, about the data that we have ingested or uh, into the OSDU. Yeah. So uh, some of the positive impact, including the democratization of the data, yeah, and Basically, through the Power BI, yeah, we, 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 we basically make it transparent for the user to access into the business rule. What business rule are we implementing? Implementing what are the score? Where is the area of the non-conformity that you know uh, user and data manager need to come together and uh, rectify or or further enhancing the data quality? Then consistency of the master and reference data, I think uh, this is pertaining to the golden record when we have a multiple uh, data source uh, that getting into the raw zone uh, and WKS, yeah, uh, basically transforming into a single source of truth for the, for the master data entity, identity. Yeah. Data security control and uh, liberalization so Petronas have a, has a has a has a unique way how we define the data security based on the classification, entitlement, uh, and the policy. Yeah, uh, some of the data are, uh, are classified as a highly secret data due to the dispute area uh, in the water of the South China Sea. Yeah, so those are the data that classify as a highly secret and require the highest authority. Uh, before we can uh, grant the entitlement to the specific user, yeah. So, uh, as overall, the pilot implementation was completed last year, yeah. Um, however, there are some area of the gaps and lesson learned that we are taking into. 2023 for the further enhancement and implementation. Yeah. Uh, number one on the gap around the some enhancement to the rule engine. Yeah. 
So while we are adopting most of the rule engine from the PPDM, yeah, uh, as a governance, as a regulatory to the oil and gas in Malaysia, we have our own set of the rules that we adding into the uh, overall quality uh, business rule implementation and and one of the gaps that we identify is the rule engine. We need a advanced rule engine that it could allow us to build a much more advanced logic, uh, you know, to in order to check the conformity of the data behavior towards the business rule. Yeah. Uh, likewise, uh, there are a few other uh, challenges along the implementation, but we are mainly focusing on what we can complete uh, in the pilot and and some work around between Power BI data workflows yeah, and the OSDU and also the, the data workspace from the some budget side. That's how we, we put together the efforts yeah, to achieve this uh, control towers uh, concept for, for, for Petronas. Some of the po positive practice, I think uh, I highlighted three bullet points here. I think the main one that I would, I would like to highlight is the, you know, the partnership the partnership and the collaboration that, uh, you know, together with, with the Sambuja and Data Vedic uh, that we have, you know, uh, work on the workaround of the solution, yeah, in, including the mapping, uh, implementation of the rules, yeah, tagging of the data classification, yeah, uh, defining what is the taxonomy for the aggregation of the reporting, yeah, in order to achieve the the full oversight of the, the governance and and also the insights yeah so uh, we this pilot implementation completed in 2020 yeah basically we are looking into the full implementation uh, in this year 2023 yeah further enhancing it and leveraging the the power bi data workspace you know filling up the gap the you know, the part that we need the advanced rule engine, yeah, or definition of the taxonomy for the aggregation of the reporting, mapping, and so on, right? Uh, so that's how in Petronas that we have this uh, two-pronged strategy for the data ingestion that going in parallel with the control tower. Uh, with that, thank you very much.